Hey everyone, so today's look is going to be for this look, and um, this is something that I started doing the other day and has quickly become my new favorite neutral eyes, um, just because I like to do, whenever I do neutral eyes, I don't like it to be typical, like white on the lid, brown on the crease, black liner mascara, um, I like to find something really different to do, um, just so that it's still fun, and um, I came up with this look, and I'm using gold eyeliner, which I absolutely love. So this look would work very well for absolutely anything. School, work, every day, um, absolutely anything. I wore this to work the other day, and it, it really lasts. The liner stays all day, and I just find that having the gold liner brightens your eyes up a little bit, and I don't know, just it's just a really, really pretty summery, fall, winter, whatever season kind of a look. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to see how I did it, keep watching. All right, so I know I never really start tutorials um, with both eyes on done, but this look is really easy, so I'm just going to do the other eye as I go along. Um, but anyways, I already applied e.l.f. primer to my eye, and I'm taking NYX Joe Pencil in Milk, and I am applying that to the lid. And I also placed some on the inner corners. So now for the first color, um, this is a sample pigment from MAC in Vanilla. You can use any kind of white creamish kind of shadow. I wouldn't recommend just a straight up white um, or just like a cream. So you can use any creamish color. And I'm taking this, um, I'm using the color Dry, and I'm using it on a Sunny Kashuk large shadow brush. And I'm just going to pat this on the on top of the primer. Alright, now just on the crease, I'm going to take the Ulta Color in Sapphire, which is right here. It's a dark navy. And the reason that these are in this palette is because this is an Ulta palette I got in a kit. I didn't depot my Ulta eyeshadows. Um, I just put them in this just the ones that I use the most, um, so I can grab them a little bit more easily. But um, anyways, I'm taking this on an e.l.f. concealer brush, and I'm just getting a small amount, and I'm going to draw a line right where my crease is. And then if you got too much product on your brush, um, wipe it off, but I'm going to start flicking it upwards and you're not going to blend it all the way up yet because we're going to put another shadow over the top portion so just blend it up a little bit. Okay now I'm going to take another MAC pigment sample. This is in Cornflower. This is one of my favorites. It is absolutely gorgeous. That's what it looks like. So it's blue and then it has like purple and pink reflex in it. So pretty. And I'm going to take some of what's in the cap on a semi Kashuk blending brush. Just like this. And I'm just going to get a little bit on there and blend it on the top of a sapphire. Alright, now I'm going to take a highlight color. I'm just using this white one from the Wet n Wild Pride palette, and I'm going to apply my highlight. Alright, now for the liner on the top lash line. Um, this is where it gets really fun. I'm going to take an e.l.f. small precision brush and the NYX General Pencil in gold, and I'm going to use this to line my eyes. Alright, now I'm just wiping off that same brush, and now I'm going to get it damp, and I'm going to dip it into Trophy Wife by Glamour Doll Eyes, which is a beautiful gold color. And I'm going to use that to pat it on top of the NYX primer. And that is it for the uh, top lid. So now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the brown from the L'Oreal Hip Duo and Sassy. 
and a Kirkland small blending brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of the product on and brush this along the lower lash line. So just take any kind of a light to medium brown because this way you can add a little bit of shadow and definition underneath your eye without it being a harsh line or really obvious or really dark. So, And then for the waterline, I'm going to take an e.l.f. small smudge brush and I'm going to take the L'Oreal Hip um, Cold Liner in Navy and I'm going to get some of the uh, cold liner on my brush and I'm going to brush this onto the waterline. Alright, so that's it for the shadow and liner. And for mascara, I'm actually going to show you that step because mascara, I feel, is kind of one of the most important aspects of this look because the liner is so light that you really want your lashes to stand out. So I'm going to take my eyelash curler. I have no idea who it's by. Um, it's just a metal eyelash curler. Sorry, I'm dropping things. Um, and I'm going to curl my lashes really specifically. Um, I really want to make sure that I curl my lashes well. Sometimes it's easy to be lazy about it, especially if you're wearing dark makeup so you're like, you can't even really see your lashes. Um, but for this, you really want to do it well. So I'm going to take this along the base of my eyelashes and press. I'm going to press it there for a few seconds and then start walking it up my eyelashes. Which basically just means kind of crimping my lashes in a way. You start at the base and squeeze, and then you let go, slide it up a bit, squeeze, so that from root to tip your lashes have been curled. You can wear false lashes with this if you want to. My only fear for me is that the band on the false lashes would kind of start to cover up the gold, um, but you know, if you're really, really good at fake lashes, then maybe you'd be able to do it. Um, so now the first mascara I'm going to use is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Luxe, and it's kind of starting to dry out. So a quick tip for mascara, if it's kind of drying out and not applying so well, hold it under hot water for like 10 seconds, just in your uh, bathroom sink, uh, for like 10 seconds, and it'll warm up the product inside and it'll be a lot easier to apply. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Alright, so the eyes are now finished, and for lips, I'm taking the NYX lipstick in Talia, which is a really pretty pinkish mauve color. You can use nude, mauve, um, with the blue in the crease, I don't know, I kind of stick to more like a nude or pinkish mauve colors than like a bright bold one. You can do whatever, but um, I'm just going to use this lipstick. And on top, I'm putting a little bit of this gloss I got back in Body Works. And um, it's absolutely delicious. I'll put the name of it in the bottom bar. But um, it's just a clear gloss but it's like peppermint flavor. And this is actually the only thing I wore with this look yesterday because I forgot to grab a lipstick. Um, so if you just want to use a clear gloss, it works great. Alright, so that's it for the look. So I hope you guys liked it and I will talk to you soon. Bye.